The other story that's out there in the NFL that I think has kind of been buried that hasn't gotten a lot of attention is the Alvin Kamara drama. Mm. You remember, remember he was at the Pro Bowl in Vegas? Yeah. Basically just beat the hell out of some guy. Uh, and they still let him play the game because uh, they weren't about to walk on the field uh, at some point during the game and arrest him. So they let him play, and then he got popped afterwards. Adam Schefter of ESPN reported that it's becoming more and more unlikely that Alvin Kamara is going to be punished this season because of the delays in the case. I think it's been delayed like three different times. It's so probably going to get dis- dismissed. Do you think so? There might be some more information there that was maybe not there in the beginning, and it doesn't sound as, here we go, as egregious as originally thought. I see, because there is the – speculation that he's going to get suspended the six games that that's what they're looking at um you know violation of the player conduct policy but if it doesn't happen this year that means alvin Kamara is going to be available for you would think the entire season for the new orleans saints and if that's the case they're a much improved 100 percent. like I, I feel like new orleans has been kind of forgotten they're about a dark horse well somebody didn't forget about them well somebody because said they're a dark horse i said they're a dark even horse. without Camara, I think they're still a dark horse team. I mean, Jameis Winston was really good last year before he got injured, and yeah. if he comes back, and it, look, you've seen some it's of his. Not tra- sure what they're going to do without Peyton, though. That's that's the biggest thing. Yeah, me. that's a, that's a big and, loss. And Drew Brees, of course. Yeah, you know, of course. No Drew Brees, no Peyton. Like, what are you going to do? And the best thing is, you just ask Drew Brees; he'll tell you the same thing. So that's what that's what's good about Drew Brees. Um, he'll let you know. <laughs> Right off the bat, with I'm just I'm just people saying, thought like, I hated Drew Brees. Like I do not hate Drew Brees. That's Saints fans. I played against them too in college. I enjoyed our time playing. Yeah, against each other. yeah. How'd you do? Yeah, we beat them every yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> unlike unlike Tom Brady, man. Um, New Orleans though. Yeah, I think they're a dark horse. Optimistic on the Saints. I am. I think they're a playoff team. I agree. And uh, and if I think Alvin Kamara is there for the division, Michael Thomas is back. Then how about it? Uh, the defense is still strong. I I feel like that's a team. Carolina's gotten a lot of attention because obviously the Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold stuff was interesting, and people are are looking at that and want to see how it plays out. But Atlanta's in a rebuild. Uh, Tampa Bay, you I'm know, just ho- I'm just hoping people aren't too disappointed if Tampa Bay doesn't live up to the expectations or the standards. That, well, that that have been put out there on them. What are the standards and expectations? Oh, the Super, Super Bowl? Bowl. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah there, there's uh, it, Tom Brady comes back for a reason. It's not to come back and and be a wild card team or or to come back and you know win a division and that's just it. Um, they, obviously their expectations are there, but New Orleans is a team that I think has got a legitimate shot of being a playoff team, especially in the NFC. And if that's the case, Jameis Winston, comeback player of the year. How about it? Coming off a knee injury? Well, he would be able to get it if Deshaun wasn't going to get it. Oh, you think Deshaun Watson's getting comeback Didn't you play say he's like 5-1 to one odds? See, I think DraftKings threw Deshaun Watson in there at 10-1 to one and just said, uh, who's the idiot who's going to bet on this? Like, like who's the – like, who – what voter? What but are you voter? really an idiot if you vote on it? Who if they the agree to six games. You don't think he can get comeback player of the year? No, nobody's voting on Deshaun Watson to win comeback player of the year. Hey. What is he coming back from? Um, he hasn't played. <laughs> yeah, he's coming but, back. Yeah, he hasn't played because and it's his own doing. He's not going to get I don't think they're going to reward him coming back with all the other things that that have been going on I mean, off the field. Some people may feel like he the things going on are things he went through, not things he caused. Yeah, well, there I you mean, go. So it, he's coming back. You think so? Comeback player, baby. Yeah, you're gonna bet that ten to one, Hell Deshaun no. Watson. Oh no. no. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. No. Uh, but Jameis Winston's a real possibility. So, so if you're a New Orleans Saints fan and you're excited about the prospects of the upcoming season, if Alvin Kamara is available for the entire year, that's a big addition that you can rely on for the entire season. And is the New Derek Orleans Henry Saints considered a comeback player. Yeah. How long was yeah. he out for? Uh he was out for a while. Yeah, he missed he missed a lot of time. Yeah. Enough to be a comeback player? I think so. To be on the chart? Yeah. 
Uh, he's the one I would put money on. You're going to go Derrick Henry? I would put money on Derrick Henry. That's the only choice, only hope they have in Tennessee. Let me give you the comeback player of the year odds. You tell me uh, w- which ones you buy into and which ones you don't. All right, so Derrick Henry's the favorite, 4-1. to one. Yeah, I like that. Jameis Winston, second, a I'm not, I'm little not over 5-1. to one. I'm mad. Christian McCaffrey, plus 750. Uh, nah, won't happen. I mean, he's already getting you know rewarded. Uh, he's off looking the field. good. Uh, well, you stupid. I'm just saying. I'm not mad at him. Yeah. Saquon in there. Hey, his eyes work. I know that Christian McCaffrey. Good for you, dude. I mean, everything works. It just um, gets injured. Uh, it's uh, D- Daniel Jones plus eight hundred. No you got Daniel Jones. No way. Uh, Michael Thomas, as we mentioned, uh, that's a good one. Uh, eight to one. Uh, I would be mad at Deshaun that one. Watson at ten to one. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. So you know, some fanboy uh, Browns fan uh, who had a. You know, a Phil Dawson jersey that now X'd it out and put Watson on the back of it. You know, he's going to be betting on that. And then you've got Baker Mayfield, Mitch Trubisky, Chase Young is another guy that's oh, out there. That's not bad. Man, Ron Rivera's comments about Chase Young and that they found that there was a little bit more damage than they initially thought to the knee, that's a little I mean, bit problematic. He's a. Have you ever seen him? He's huge. Bruh. He's a he, freak. He's like an avatar. He's, it's like, you know how you see like a person that like it's almost like basketball players are avatars, but they're they're generally very slim dudes, like slim bits. Chase is like built like a, I don't even know how to explain it. Julius Peppers, but he's big like a Julius yeah. Julius Peppers is yeah. the same. Like you see these dudes. And the way they're built, they don't look like they should be that tall. You're not supposed to be built like that and be super tall, but they're tall. Like, I mean, Chase even looks a little different from from Pep. I, it's freakish, yeah. freakish deal. I hope he does return back and plays well, though. Uh, and I mean, but when you're that big, to think about the amount of pressure that you're putting on your weight bearing joints. When you're that explosive and that athletic and that size, I can't even imagine what his, his joints be screaming, crying out when he moves. Oh! Every time he makes a cut. Ah! Ooh! Clowney went through the same he issues. He starts to make them. Yeah, but he but, ain't built like Chase, man. He had what, microfracture? I his think. ankles be like, hello! <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. 